Hey everybody, um, today's Good Friday and Lieutenant Chris from the Salvation Army of Waldorf asked me what that meant to me. Um, so this is going to be hopefully a short video of what this means to me because it's actually um, very personal to me for a totally different reason than most people. So please watch this to the end so you can find out why. Um, but to start off, today's the day we celebrate Jesus Christ dying on the cross for us. Um, and why did he do that? Because we're sinners and we needed to be saved from the consequences of, which is death. Death is the penalty of our sins and that's, and our sins separate us from God the Father. Um, so when I think of Good Friday, I think of how... Jesus, being God in the flesh, the creator of the world, died for his own creation. And not only that, but he was tortured for his own creation, by his own creation. And that that thought alone is, is sobering. Because I don't know any other religion where the creator dies for the created. So, just a thought to throw out there. Um, but also... This is the greatest act of love there could ever be, um, to lay down one's life for another. You see, I had a rap sheet. I was a heroin addict, um, so selfish. I was a bully, um, perverted. I mean, the list goes on. If you want to know my full story, A Double Shot of Redemption, it's available on Amazon. Um, however, what I need you to know right now is my rap sheet was really long and I was found guilty of every single thing I did, but when it came time to receive the penalty for my sins, Jesus stepped in and he died for me. Um, and not just for me, but the whole world, um, all the sins of the world, all the convictions and the consequences of them, he took on. And so to me, that's, that's sobering, that's, um, it's kind of humiliating too, because I don't deserve that type of love. No one does. Yet God in the flesh died for that reason um and when I think about that I think of a courtroom I imagine a courtroom and I imagine standing before the judge and before he pounds his gavel um charging me and convicting me and sentencing me Jesus steps forward and proclaims that he'll take my place that humbles me every single time I think about it because I don't deserve it and I also think of the Hunger Games where Katniss volunteers as tribute for her sister to take her place in, in a game where it results in death. She didn't know she would die or not. So the exception here with Jesus is that he knew he had to die in order for me to be saved. Um, and that selflessness is what humbles me as well. Uh, so I hope each of you would receive that same revelation, um, the fullness of his riches in this act of love that we celebrate today. Um, so here's the reason today means a little bit different for me than it does others. We also remember how Jesus was tortured by his own creation. Um, tortured worse than anybody out there that's what the bible says it was worse than any human had ever endured and so in 2017 to 2018 um i was manipulated and abused and tortured by someone who claimed to be a prophet of god and uh, she used the word of God to convince me that everything she said and did came directly from God. And some of these actions included some torture tactics. Uh, for those who don't know my story, some of those torture tactics were to force me to go without food, um, force me to go without sleep, 
Um, there was every morning I was forced to panhandle. Um, she would force me to hold bowel movements. Uh, she would force me to strip naked in front of her so that I had to model um, some dirty donation clothes from those donation bins you see around. Um, not all of them were dirty, but a lot of them stunk and a lot of them were dirty. Um, so, but she even forced me to sleep on the floor in her kitchen or her living room without a pillow or a blanket. And this was for an entire year. Um, and, and, and these are just a few of the torture tactics that she had. And so today, when I think of Good Friday and I remember what he endured for us, um, it also brings me a level of comfort because there's not a lot of people I can relate to uh, when it comes to these flashbacks and these painful memories. But here is Jesus and I get to run to him, especially on this day, and find comfort um, for some dark, painful moments of my past. So... Good Friday is very personal to me, um, and it's also very liberating. So to end the video, I do want to ask all of us a question, including myself. Are we laying our lives down for others the way Jesus laid his life down for us? One of his greatest commandments was to love others as he first loved us. Are we selflessly loving others even more than ourselves. So I hope you guys have a great Good Friday and I hope this video helps somebody. Have a great day, guys.